So, Logie, Tyrone versus Tipperary, under-21 final. Can Tyrone do it? Yeah, I think Tyrone can do it, you know, but then again, Tipperary will also feel they can do it. Tipperary have come the hard way into this final. They beat Cork by a single point in the Munster final in a fantastic game of football. And then they played Dublin, the heavily backed favourites for the under-21 title. Beat them 14 points to 12 in a game that they were totally dominant in. Should have won by more. Their top scorer, Kevin O'Halloran, and their midfielder, Stephen O'Brien, came in with late scores. O'Brien, in particular, the midfielder, a very, very big, strong, athletic lad. He bossed the game for large, long, long periods. And I think... Uh, it was a real shock, you know, Desi Farrell and Dublin thought they were nailed on to go back and win the under-21 title. Didn't work out. Tipperary, fantastic team, deserve huge credit. Now you also say then Tyrone. Tyrone back in the under-21 uh, final. And Tyrone have won minor titles many times over the years, but yet the under-21 is significant for Tyrone. When Tyrone do well at under-21 level, they normally do well then at senior level. The teams that won All-Ireland titles in 2001 and two contained the likes of Peter Canavan and so many of those other lads that went on to win All-Ireland titles at senior level. The current management of the Toronto under 21s, Fergal Logan, a double under-21 winner, went on to play in an All-Ireland final. You had Brian Durha as well, a double All-Ireland winning captain of Toronto. You had Peter Canavan and then you had Peter Donnelly, who's now the fitness coach, a young fella who actually trained Cavan for three previous years and got them to three under 21 titles as their fitness development officer. Now he's back working with his own county. Tyrone have some fantastic players. Young Leo Brennan up front, superb. Young Myler up front, fantastic. Hampsey at the back. Look, there's so many of them and they're very much a team spirited, focused outfit. I think the 21 final in is going to be a great, great event uh, on May the 2nd. The pity is being played on May Day Bank Holiday, Saturday the 2nd. It might, uh, it might hit the crowd, but for Tyrone as well, it gave the entire county a lift after all the knocks at senior level with players walking away, Mickey Hart you know, having an operation, Tyrone getting relegated, doom and gloom being accused of playing all this negative football as if they were just the kicking boys of the game for, for several months. The under-21s come along and get to an All-Ireland final, incredible. Their victory against Roscommon was very impressive because remember Roscommon were also favourites to win that game and Tyrone turned them over. Uh, if I had a bad tenor, you, you can understand this, but uh, definitely uh, I would tip Tyrone to win the All-Ireland under-21 because once you get fellas of that calibre of Canavan, Logan and Duhur on the line and they get to a final, they tend not to lose them. So I would, uh, I would be giving Tyrone the, the heads up. There's slight favourites here in McLean's. Naturally enough, they were the third favourites overall before the semi-finals were played. If you look at it this way, Dublin were favourites, Roscommon second, Tyrone third and Tipperary complete outsiders to win the under-21 title. So I'd say there'd be a few tip lads and lassies had a few quid in them to win the All-Ireland. Going to be a great final, but I fancy Tyrone.